The Healing Finger Game for the Inner Hurt Child by Vivian Rauber, Swiss psychologist. Here, observe when you play the victim. Lesson 22 of the free self-help course with diploma. Hello. You all know me. I'm Vivian Rauber. Swiss psychologist and you have probably finished or almost finished the healing finger game and maybe some of you have already received the free diploma for the teacher of self-help the healing finger game and so you know that we all play the victim. Sometimes, or very often, many times a day. The victim, you know them all. The thumb who feels lonely, the index who is feared, the third who is angry but feels impotent, the ring finger who is sad, and the little finger who has no joy, who wears a mask because he thinks if they knew what I think, they wouldn't love me. But you also know that you can get out of the role of the victim whenever you want. You just have to go and get to the right hand who represents the mother, the universal mother, and she goes to every finger until the finger feels well again. Now, in this moment, how do you feel? Do you feel good? Like the fingers of the right hand, loved, protected, strong, serene, with joy. You just feel in harmony or at the contrary, do you feel bad like the fingers of the left hand, lonely, with fear, with anger, impotent, sad or joyless or do you have a feeling you can't really name it's not good it's maybe a little uh, annoyed or bored feel how you feel. Give the feeling a name. If you're feeling bad, that's the victim that you are playing right now. Did you realize that on the one hand there is one who is observing and there is another one who is observed? 
it's like two persons. One who is observed, the way he is playing the victim, and another one, an observer. Who is the one who observes? Who observes? I'd like to propose you an exercise to do every day. Be the observer. Observe yourself every day and you may have felt that when you are observing which finger you are playing, which victim you are playing, you get kind of a distance to that feeling. So do this exercise for a week every day to find out how often a day you play the victim and which victim you play. Is it the one who feels lonely, who is frightened, who is angry, impotent, sad or joyless? Which is your favorite victim. This feeling that has accompanied you for a long time. The transactional analysis calls that a racket feeling. A feeling that you have very often that's why they call it a favorite feeling, although it's disagreeable. But it's a feeling that has accompanied you like a friend. Other people usually don't understand why you stay such a long time in that feeling, because they feel it's not a real reaction to what happened. So, observe you now. Observe yourself and every evening write it in your studies, uh, your homework for the studies by YouTube and you write down, for instance, so many times I felt so and so, so many times I felt so and so, so many times I felt good, so many times I felt lonely. Observe yourself for a while, at least a week, and when you have found out which is the favorite feeling, the record feeling, this friend, that finger that accompanies you so often, you can go to the next lesson. Let go of the victim. As usual, you will find it going through my web page www.vivienderauber.com English YouTube Healing Finger Game and you click on lesson 23 which is let go of the victim.